Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we will create something like this. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene and this is a quick one. So we want to use here this cube and hit into geometry nodes, new geometry node and rename this one here cubes. Let's cut here the connection and we want to use a grid here. We want to use a cube and we want to use instance on points and as always let's put the grid into the points the cube into the instance and the instance to the geometry and uh, first of all let's change here the grid to 40 by 40 and the instances or the vertices sorry to 20 by 20 and we want to increase here the size of the this cube to 2 by 2 by two and now we are having here this grid and what uh, we want to do now is here add a modifier again which is the uh, wireframe but nothing happens because we have to go here into geometry nodes and set or search here for realize instance put this one here between and now we are having here this grid here with the wireframe and let's change here the thickness the thickness to a 0.18 so our lines are a little bit thicker and what we want to do now is um, create another instance to point on points and want to but we want to use the same uh, grid but another cube which is uh, let's duplicate this one here and now we can put this one here to the instance as well but uh, let's change here the size back to one by one by one nothing happens we have to add here a join geometry and this one should be uh, before the realize instances so let's put this one here and now we are having here this cube inside another cube and that is looking really good here right now and yeah let's go here into the rendering and i'm using eevee here so let's enable ambient inclusion bloom and screen space reflections and uh, disable this one and maybe do something like this okay and now we have to go here into the shading because we want to add here some textures. So um, yeah, to see a little bit better what we are doing, uh, let's create here this cube uh, and let's disable the grid here and go into rendering. And first of all, we want to use or create here a first material with this uh, black gloss. And let's go here with something like this. Let's uh, yeah, put here the roughness or we can go here and search here for a noise and put this one here into the roughness. And maybe let's go here with a ramp. And now we can see a little bit more what we are doing here right now. So maybe let's go here with something like this. And that's the first material and uh, let's delete this one and let's make another one which will be here the neon part and we um, only want to increase or change here the emission a little bit maybe let's go here with 10 and let's get rid here of our uh, light okay let's go back here into geometry nodes and we can uh, yeah, hide here our texture cube or material cube and let's select here uh, our geometry nodes instead and we want to search for set material and put this here into the upper uh, string and select here material black gloss and now you can see here we're having here this uh, black gloss texture on the outside cubes and duplicate this one paste it here between the uh, down part and select here the neon stuff and now we are having here this uh, neon grid what we can do here now for some cool reflections we can go here into the um, 
yeah, into the uh, easy HDRI plugin. I will put the link into the description and I want to create a node setup here and I want to use here the Shanghai Bond. And maybe let's go back here into shading world and put this uh, add value here to 0.1. So we are having here some uh, reflections, a little trick here. I don't want to have this HDRI that I can see that's here in the background. So we can go here and search for a mix shader. Um, put this one here at the end. We want to use RGB, which should be here in the second shader. Put this one to black. And now we want to use here this light path and put this is camera camera ray in the factor. So now we are having the reflections of uh, the HDRI, but um, yeah, with black. Uh, black background, you can change here the color as you want. I think that's the, the whole texture part here now. Let's go back here into um, maybe animation because we want to do a little bit of animation. We can add here now uh, a wave modifier and play this one here. And now we're having here this uh, cool animation stuff happening, but we want to make some changes. And this should be here now. We want to leave the motion uh, cycling as well. And now we go here into along normals and uh, yeah, leave the X, Y, and Z should be on, but we want to change here the fall off to 20. The height should be to the width 3.5 and now you can see we are having here some waviness and the narrowness to one and that slows a little bit down the animation which is cool and i think that's uh, the whole animation here now let me get rid here of this window so we can see a little bit better and now go here maybe to the rendered view and um yeah as you can see the animation will not really uh, loop. We can change this one here to a looping animation and we are changing the start frame from uh, 1 to 60 and uh, the end to 80, uh, 87. And when we are now playing this animation, um, we are having now a loop animation, which is cool. And when we are going here into the render settings, you can see uh that's looking cool but for me um uh, the bloom is a little bit too hot so let's get down this one by changing here the threshold a little bit i think that's looking better and for the final part i want to change here now the camera so let's go here with something like uh 11 11 uh, minus 15 and the z value should be 8 and i'll change the rotation to uh, 68.4 and the z value to uh, 36.9 i think something like this is cool and for this one i want to use here the depth depth of field and let's go here with a with a real tiny f-stop which should be here 0.1 and the focus distance for the focus distance we can add here an empty uh, which is this one here maybe let's name this here to focus and put this one here inside and now when we are changing here um, the position of this one the focus should be on this point here, as you can see when we are changing this one here. And yeah, when we're playing this one, that was this tutorial. And if you like my stuff, check out my channel. All the next tutorials. See you there and bye.